Hi, I'm Norin, and I love this. Today we will be continuing our look at the unboxings of various action figures and toys by getting a peek at the Big Guy and Rusty flying action figure from Bandai. Now this figure was based on the Big Guy and Rusty Fox Kids cartoon from 1999, which itself was based on the Big Guy and Rusty comic book uh, by Frank Miller and Jeff Darrow. Okay, this toy came out in 99. And I think that's all we need to know. Let's go ahead and cut it open, see what we've got inside. Okay. Try and make our cuts nice and neat along the base here so that I can get decent scans of the box art. Okay, so, got some little instructions right there on how to set him up so he flies. Uh, hmm, Bandai America questionnaire card. So here, we've got our base. See what else we've got here real quick. Looks like they included a trading card, but they taped it down. So we will go ahead and cut that guy loose as well. well we've got our card art there. We'll get some scans on that. We've got our trading card here. I love when the toy company includes a card and then goes so far out of their way to protect the integrity of that card that it becomes impossible to open without damaging. Swing and a miss, guys. Got our trading card there. We'll get some scans on that. Looks like it includes a scene from the Fox Kids show. comes Rusty the boy robot. We'll just throw him around. Alright, that is a mighty impressive big guy there. Let's see here. This piece attaches like that. And then he Oh, I see. He sits in there just like this. Rusty right next to him. Okay. Now, he is supposed to make a whooshing sound as he flies. He did come with batteries, but the whole thing has been in the package for a lot of years at this point, so I won't be too disappointed if they're dead. That said, let's go ahead and get some close-ups and see if they're still working. In the not-so-distant future, two top-secret robots, Big Guy and Rusty the Boy Robot, working for the U.S. government, are called upon to defend the world against evil forces that have created mutant robots and other creatures from out of this world.
relying upon massive weaponry, nuclear power, and human and artificial intelligence, the two work hand in hand battling seemingly invincible forces, primed to take over the Earth. Big Guy and Rusty the Boy Robot got its first comic book in 1995, and later a cartoon television series in 1999. The series focuses on Rusty, the most advanced robot ever built, with a human emotional grid and nucleoprotonic powers. The plan is that Rusty will replace the Big Guy, a massive war robot that is the Earth's last line of defense against all threats, alien and domestic. However, Rusty is too inexperienced to stand on his own, so the big guy is recommissioned to teach Rusty the ways of the trade. Rusty idolizes the big guy, regarding him as the best robot ever. In reality, the big guy is actually a mindless battle suit, piloted by Lieutenant Dwayne Hunter, who poses as his chief mechanic. The big guy's secret is known only to a few, and many situations involve Lieutenant Hunter's clever and impromptu excuses to hide the fact from Rusty, for two reasons. That the truth could overload Rusty's emotional grid, and Rusty has trouble keeping secrets. His head moves side to side, but does not spin. His arms spin all the way around, just like this. And then just like that. His hands spin all the way around, on both sides. His feet both spin out to the sides, but not all the way around. Alright, so those were our close-ups on the big guy and rusty action figure here, flying action figure. Uh, I was disappointed to find out that the batteries were dead, so no whooshing sound while he flies. Uh, but aside from that, I think it's a pretty cool figure. I think the stand could have been clear, just so he looked a little more fly -y. But this is fine, and I do like that if you take him off of this, he does stand up and look pretty okay in his standing position. Uh, Rusty's a little bit useless when it comes to that. He doesn't uh, do much except lie there or fly. Alright, that said, I think this is a pretty cool action figure, and the specs that they sent me on the back of the box did have the type of battery that he takes, and it does have a little replaceable compartment here that I can get into with a screwdriver, so I may get some replacement batteries and see if we can get those whooshing sounds back up and running. Alright, thank you guys for joining me this time. We look forward to seeing you next time. This has been Norin with another episode of I Love This. Make sure to tune in next time, leave your comments or suggestions below, and if you like what you see, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and share buttons. Until next time.